What's up, guys? Just kind of want to give y'all guys on the view of my uh, reaching purchases, uh, purchases at uh, Bass Pros. Uh, I was there earlier today. Uh, just catch the uh, end of the season sale. Uh, I'm not out there much, so I was the only day prior I will go. Um, so I got out there, man. Uh, they got a sale going on from February the 12th to the 22nd. Um, if you guys haven't heard about it, make sure you guys get out there. Um, a lot of great things out there, a lot of good sales out there. Uh, so I just picked up some few things, man. Uh, just kind of to top me off for uh, my collection of uh, certain type of lures I kind of got. So I just kind of want to go over kind of things what I got. Uh, so first, I'm gonna start off with my um, my Storm Arashi uh, crankbait. Um, this this is actually a nice color here. This is the reason why I got this one is because it's a different color. Uh, I actually have all every color of this model here. I recently uh, discovered these at Meyer that I was uh, recently started buying. Uh, they was actually uh, was five dollars on clearance, regular price eight. I think it was like eight uh, eight oh nine. I think regular price and they had them on uh, clearance for five. They recently dropped them to 224, so I, I was able to collect every uh, color of those, um, which was great. And um, so I recently got another color of these, which was uh, th this was on sale, regular price um, was 908, and I got it actually for 679. So this was a deal; it's a different color. Uh, I actually got all the different other colors that already, so I was kind of pretty excited about getting this one. Actually, different about this one, this actually is a, has a rattle in it. The other ones are silent, and this one is actually a five, and not a three. Uh, I got different models of the uh, ones that are silent. Uh, I have um, the three ends and the fives, uh, but these, this one actual one actual rattles. So this is going to be real great in the water. Uh, the silent one should be fine in the water also, but I'm actually uh, down to uh, test these uh, lures out. I uh, watched some reviews and uh, videos on them. I got uh, good reviews on them. Say it was good lures, one of the top lures of the year. I think it was 2012. So uh, if you want to get checking these uh, Rashi uh, Storm crankbaits, uh, and this one actually dives to five feet. I think that'll be a great lure. So I got that. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite lures here. My favorite, my lip lipless crankbaits. Uh, it's a nice lipless crankbait, man. This actually is a albino craw. It's a new color. I never seen this one before. So when I seen it, I was like, wow, I gotta have it. Um, I got a nice glitter to it. And it got a nice pattern to it. So I had to get that. Um, got a lot of a different um a lot of different uh models and colors uh, that they had of the lipless uh crankbase red eye shads there, so that I, I had to get that color. Never ever seen a fire tiger lipless uh red eye shad uh not in stores nowhere not even at dicks anywhere so i had to get this one uh this was a bleeding uh fire tiger uh lipless and uh i had to get that one this is a real nice uh color here so i know that's going to catch me a lot of fish especially a lot of pike it's definitely going to run that through down to uh hines i definitely can get a pike with this one it's definitely a nice lure uh here i got this is a uh actually a green tomato this is a different color one here too. I haven't seen this one. This is a real nice lure here also. Um, I love the color. Um, so I got this one. It's a green tomato. It's probably one of the favorite colors I got. This one in the albino. This one here is a uh, green. Uh, this actually is a chartreuse perch. And this is actually one is a uh, <clears throat> three fourths of an ounce. Uh, so this one actually is a lot heavier. It's a lot, lot heavier lure. I can cast this. I don't know if I can imagine how deep this lure goes. Uh, they don't actually give a depth on them. I'm gonna look up on that and give them a depth. I'm sorry if I can't give you the actual depth. I'm if I'm mistaken. Uh, <clears throat> the half, uh, half ounce. Uh, those are dive from five to feet. So I'm pretty sure this one dives either anywhere from 10, eight to 10 maybe. Uh, so I picked up this one. They was all on sale for 519. Uh, regular price was six twenty nine, so I picked up these. Um, this actually was a sale, but actually, you know, these got they got you know, Bass Pros have all different models and colors, you know. So the ones I was actually getting at Myers, they only had like two or two, two di three different brands, and I was able to only get like uh, so many of them, and now I actually was getting them on sale for a dollar sixty two and a lot of good prices. So I was working my magic with those. So those are, my, those are my red eye shads. I got shads. I got most of all my colors for those. Uh, 
Uh, I'm trying to still collect more of the colors I don't have. You know, I can get them when I can. They was on somewhat on sale, but I had to get them uh, while I could. Uh, you know, I things I they give this big clearance sale, just letting you know, just get things at the last minute because it's not going to be on sale no more. Here, this is like one of the first things I picked up when I walked in the door. Uh, these are little in the bargain little box. They didn't really have too much things in there. People kind of hit that when they first probably walk in, but this is one of the things that I seen. Uh, uh, so I got that. Uh, these are actually, I've never seen this before. I know it's like a jig in here. And it's got some nice little swims in here. So I, I, I kind of like this. Uh, I can imagine how that action is in the water. Uh, I know a big bass will love that. Uh, even a, uh, even some nice walleye or something. I like to uh, use these in the water anytime soon. So kind of interesting to get these. I think Ryan, I seen you pick one of these up. Uh, seen you uh, brought one of these also. I don't know if not in a different color, but uh, I picked those up also. Storm baits. I mean swim baits. They had these um, swim baits that was on sale. Uh, these was actually a dollar ninety seven, so I picked these up. Uh, these are Bass Pros. Uh, so uh, this one actually here is the uh, Shiner. So I love Shiners. I love anything kind of like a Shiner or, or like a metal type color. Anything that's black and silver, fish will love. So I like the nice little eye color. That's what they attract them to. Makes it look more alive. Uh, so I, I would nice. I would kind of interested in losing this lure. Next here we have the nice blue heron. This blue black heron here. This is real nice here. I like the colors. It's gonna be shining real good in the water. Um, <clears throat> give a nice little color off to it. Should get some good with that. Next here I got um, the neon blue gill sunfish. This sunfish here is gonna be a beast in the water. I, mean, I can't even imagine, man, a big bass hitting this. So I'm actually gonna save these. Uh, for the tournament uh, that we're supposed to be throwing uh, in the upcoming season. Uh, hopefully, um, it's nice and successful. Uh, Shouts out to my boy Ryan and the Wild Boys. Um, got my group, my uh, group is uh, Wayne County Bass and Pike Slayers. Um, so we kind of got a tournament going on. So hopefully that runs good and successful. And um, this is going to be the boy to hopefully catch me that big boy. I like this lure. So if you guys guys want to jock it and use it, that's fine with me. I'm out of my sharing. Um, I love uh, giving good ideas. Uh, I learn a lot of good ideas from you guys also. Uh, a lot of good ideas have been given to me. So all I can do is just give back. I think this lure here is going to be the one. If not, I will go with the live target because that's the one I was looking at uh, there also. These was on sale for eleven ninety nine, uh, so I got these. Uh, the other one, live Tiger or Target ones, was thirteen ninety nine, so I just went with the uh, Bass Pro brand. So I think these are gonna be good no matter what. I love the color, so I picked this up. This is a new neon blue gill color. Here, I think this is just a regular shad. Yeah, this is a regular shad. Got a nice purple color to it. Nice little flicker or glitter to it on the top of his head. It looks actually like a real fish, man. This is gonna be badass in the water. So I'm, I'm dying to throw this out in the water also for that nice big bass. Repella, repella, repella. My favorite lures. Got me at, picked me up an X wrap here. Uh, this is not on sale. This was uh, uh, $9.99, so I paid 10 bucks for this. Uh, this is a high head. I actually lost this lure uh, probably about three weeks back. So I had to get it back again. Uh, I'm gonna save it for the um, probably springtime. Uh, I'm not going to use it no time soon. Make sure I use some in some nice um, four to five feet water foam with no snags. <clears throat> this is a nice lure. I mean, not, it doesn't dive that deep, uh, but I love it. Um, so I got that. Got my jointed crankbaits. I love these uh, jointed crankbaits. I got two different colors here. Um, uh, I got actually the uh, other four colors also. I think maybe five uh, other colors are these also. So trying to get a collection of all those. Um, so that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to group all my collection of all my uh, different colors of cranks and different uh, color lipless. And, you know, uh, I kind of did a variety of uh, shopping when I went um, to Bass Pro. That's, as you can see, I kind of just kind of brought, uh, you know, I brought me some cranks, I brought some lipless, and I brought some uh, softs. 
and uh, swim baits. So that's what I'm kind of, you know, I've been doing. I've been switch, switching up, you know, and that's how I'm going to use my uh, my rod sequence. I'm going to, you know, have, I'm going to probably run my cranks on one rod. I'm going to run my swims on one rod. I might run my uh, softs on my one rod. So um, that's kind of how pretty much I might have to fish it. Uh, I think it'd be the smartest way. Catch me more fish. Um, at the time, you know, and that's 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 the most important thing about fishing is catching the most fish, and you know, and catching one big one is always good, but you know, catching variety of fish is better than anything. So um, these are the two that I did get. Um, so I'll let you know how they got those. Say this one, this one here, this is one of my favorite lure here. I got I picked this one up because I uh, haven't had it in a while. I lost it uh, back in November of last year. Uh, after I caught a pike uh, recently, uh, so I actually had to uh, repurchase this one. This one is an actual R N R seven, so I actually had the five the first time. So I purchased the seven because uh, it was a bigger lure, uh, dive deeper. So I want to get in some more deeper water with bigger fish. All right, this year, so I picture purchased the bigger one. And uh, the last, the one I had last year uh, actually was amazing lure, man. It was one of the best lures I ever had. Back in maybe 2012, I was fishing this gravel, gravel pond in uh, Memphis, and uh, I had one the iron R5, and man, I was I literally slayed over 30 crappie with this lure alone. So this is the best lure right here for any type of species fish that's predator type. They love this fish. It looks like it's a real shad. It got a nice color. It got a nice rattle to it. It sinks good. Uh, it got a nice depth to it. Dives from anywhere from four to five feet. It rips through the water. I love this lure. I guarantee you this fish will, fish will catch you lure. They have caught me plenty of crappie with this lure. I was surprised. I, I literally caught 30 crappie in 10 minutes with this lure. Literally. So I, that was one of the best days of my fishing life with this lure. So this is a very, very good lure here. I actually caught this uh, for 4 dollars It wasn't no sale. It's always been this uh, price. Uh, I don't mind paying you no know, regular price for impellas. It's always been good lures. Always caught me, caught me a lot of fish. So... Whatever price for a Rampella lure cost for Ramp Rampella lure, I will pay for it. Rampella lure got good best lure. So I love that lure there. Thanks here we got my sauce. I got these uh bubblegum uh yellow swirls. These are some great, amazing uh sauce here, man. They got um this I never seen this color before. Um these actually the five inch I think. I think it's a little bit bigger from the seven. Um, so I got these. I picked up these. These are actually on sale for $1.97. Uh, I actually had to uh, get this color. So this is going to be a real good color in the water, especially for clear water. Uh, even in dark, uh, murky uh, cover water, bass is going to go crazy over these. So I'm going uh, to definitely uh, experiment with these a lot uh, in early spring bass when, uh, when spawn season is uh, coming up. So I'm definitely gonna be out there with these worms the first, second week in April, baby. So I got picked up those. Now this color here, this is right here, it's a bumblebee swirl. This color here is gonna be amazing, man. This swirl, I can imagine how this swirl is gonna look in the water with it even in a nice little Texas wig action. So I'm gonna uh, definitely experiment with these this year. Um, I love yum, man. I always purchase yums in my plastics. Uh, a lot of people purchase Gary's. I, I, I love them too. I like Gary's too. They're a little bit more heavier bait. I get it. But at the same time, I don't like Gary's because um, they, they just tear up so fast. You know, I, I have literally had a Gary on my uh, a hook and, I, and it literally tore up on maybe over, getting over five or six bites with it off some missed hook sets. So uh, they have. Um, I have tore up a lot, a lot, lot on me. So yum, uh, yums have lasted me longer. Uh, uh, they have caught me more fish. Uh, I have, and they cost a lot, a lot, lot less cheaper. So I rather stick with the yum dingers. So I got this color. This is a new color I never seen before. So I picked up this color. <clears throat> this color here. This is a sartreuse uh, pepper actually. Uh, this color here I never seen before also. Uh, so I want this color, man. This is a badass color. Uh, this is going to be real good and a nice color in the water. Uh, bass is going to go crazy off this. Um, hopefully, uh, a big boy uh, hit this. So uh, this is the next color I picked up. Uh, so I got me uh, those. 
Uh, so that's kind of pretty much uh, all I got. Also, I got, um, actually I almost forgot. Uh, I picked up uh, boxes. Uh, caught the boxes that was on sale there for 4 for 10. Uh, I know uh, I just seen your comment, and uh, my bad, about uh, not picking up. I didn't see it in time. I had a lot going on at the time. I was just looking at a whole bunch of stuff and uh, had to find with me. But uh, if you want, um, you probably can uh, possibly have two of them if you haven't got the Bass Pose yet. Uh, but I did purchase uh, these boxes here, uh, four for 10. Uh, that's a great sale that they got. Uh, they got all sizes. You can switch them up. I think they... Uh, 37 no these are actually 36s and 34s so i picked up uh two uh different sizes here so um i uh, stuck with those uh so that's my review man i just kind of want to let you guys know that's what i picked up when i purchased uh i know guys been talking about the tournament uh, i'm actually looking at my book here man and looking at uh different ways of how i can run this tournament i don't want this all to get all kind of mixed up with all our um things with this tournament uh how we're gonna run it uh but ryan you got some great ideas uh i think uh we both should um definitely all get together uh all three of us me you and tim bassy get all together and see what we're gonna do about this tournament uh, but i'm definitely excited about all these tournaments uh about everything that's going man that's all i know is uh i got the equipment everybody's getting loaded and ready um I'm excited about my new uh, trailer motor I just got, man, for my kayak, man. I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully, um, I get my mount uh, made up, uh, can done up, and I can uh, get it installed, which will be, I don't think will be no problem. Uh, if not, I'll uh, probably end up purchasing one, even though I hear they're kind of really expensive. So, uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and just build me a nice little mount for it and uh, get it on, uh, put it on, on my kayak. Originally just purchased a, a Ascended 12 footer, uh, sit on top, uh, nice kayak uh, from one of my buddies, uh, got a real good deal on it. Um, so I'm planning on, uh, this is my first, that's my actually my first uh, purchase for the kayak, is my trolling motor. Next thing I'm purchasing the battery for it and hopefully uh, a fish finder. So I got a lot of goodies coming up for the spring. I keep you guys updated on things that I uh, recently purchased and updates on things. Uh, what I have success with and 